Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today we're going to do a little shelter for you right quick. Now this is one of those emergency shelters. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a ranger roll and we're going to add a component to it. Now this is something that I carry in my car, especially during the summer months. Now, this is a good down here in the south emergency uh, device because it is a U.S. Army poncho. It is a space, reusable space blanket, and it's a wooby all rolled together. Those individual components can be broken apart, or it can be used as one thing as an emergency sleeping bag and etc. Well, I'm going to show you in bad cold, whenever I need to survive, what I can add to this and make it into a better shelter. We're going to turn it into sort of a little small super shelter of a degree, okay? And all i got to do is just break it apart right quick, throw another component to it, and reassemble. And we're going to make it happen. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna take my preset up range roll, and I've got my other components I've already pulled out of it, like my uh, ridge line and etc. Grab my Canadian jam knot, unlock it. Notice I'm using nice bright orange cord so I don't lose it either. And this is an old pon old poncho that I've cycled into this duty because it had a couple of holes. I've added some duct tape to it set up in the sleeping bag configuration right now. So I'm going to unsnap it because I'm going to create my own little setup right quick. I'm going to tie my ties at the bottom. Open it back up. You see it's a reusable space blanket, a very old one I might add that I need to replace, and the, the wooby. Now I'm going to untie it all the way around right quick. So I get the poncho separately. Put that pocket knife back before I lose it. And then we're going to start setting up. We're going, in a basic nutshell, we're going to break down to the components. I'm going to pull out the poncho to become my shelter top. I'm then going to create a bed of leaves beneath it right quick to insulate me from the ground. On that, I'm going to put the reflective space blanket as a thermal barrier and as a moisture barrier. And then I'm going to have the wooby to wrap up in. Then in front of this is where I'm gonna put my fire. But to help insulate me even more, I'm gonna add a plastic drop cloth right quick and turn this into a super shelter like I did. I'll show you in just a minute. The whole object of this game is to trap warm air around me rapidly and at the same time maximize my fire. So a relatively small fire will generate more enough heat because the um, heat will come through that plastic in here to where I'm at and will therefore be trapped. It'll have to work its way back out. Well, since I'm protected from the ground, from insulation, and from the thermal blanket, I have a top over me so that I am not in any way encumbered. All right, now I've separated my basic component. Well, let me set up my poncho. I've now taken my poncho and I've set it up on a ridge line between two trees and I've added me a dense layer of leaves underneath it. Now I'm gonna take my usable space blanket and I'm gonna put it in here, shiny side up, throwing it over the leaf bed like this. Now I'm going to lay down on this and I'm going to pull that extra over the top of me to make like a clamshell with this, with my wooby on top. Right now I want to seal this up and I'm going to need a little extra cordage right here. I'm going to show you that in one second. I'm going to come up right about here and I'm going to put a, um, right here at the corner, I'm going to come and put a piece of bank line running down to a stake on both sides and then two spaced out kind of in the middle, okay? Let me get that rigged up and I'll show you. Okay, now what I've done is at this corner, I've put a stake and I've put a vertical line going to the ground. In the Right here, I've done a, another stake with a line going to the ground, one right there and then one on the far end. Now I'm going to take a standard super cheap drop cloth. We're going to turn this into a super shelter. This is 9 by 12 feet. First 
you're going to do is unroll the endless roll. We're going to start unfolding it to get to the proper width. And this is going to take me a minute, so just bear with me, guys. Okay, guys, now you see. I have taken this 9 by 12 drop cloth. I have my ridge line right here, and onto my ridge line I have tied an additional lines going down the stake. This holds the front from blowing in, okay? Now along the bottom edge, I simply buried it with a little bit of pine straw, and out here like four feet or so in front of my area is where I'd build my fire, so the heat projects in. I'm gonna have that space blanket as a thermal barrier against my skin, on the bottom, well I should say my, my clothing, and then I'll have my wooby on top of that for warmth. Now right here on the side you can see how it will wrap over, but as the wind will show you right there, that's my opening to go in. All I gotta do is just roll that over and from the inside take a little pine straw and bind it up on both ends so it does not come loose. Now I've got about a 10 mile an hour wind right now, so hang with me. But The bottom will be sealed up with pine straw. Now this over here is the same way. This, give you an idea what it looks like inside. By just taking and packing this down with a little bit of pine straw or whatever to hold it and secure it, which I haven't got it secured that well. Now this is gonna leave a gap at the bottom corner as you can see right there. That's easily plugged up by just raking up and putting pine straw there. These doors and all are easily taken care of by simply pulling them in position like this. There's plenty of overlap. So, it's a super quick thing to do. Now down here in my south, this would be more adequate. Now you guys up north, you know it ain't gonna work because you're in deep snow and deep extreme cold. Down here in my area, 20s, things like that are what we consider extreme cold. But a simple ranger roll. It gives me the poncho. All I gotta do is just add the drop cloth. A few extra stakes and cords on my ridge line so the front end doesn't blow in. I can go in the side, plug up any hole with pine straw, and put my fire to the front. And I have, in essence, a functioning super shelter. It's gonna keep me warm through a very cold night. A simple little trick that can make your life so much better. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button before you go to feed the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.